welcome back everybody. It's Chad from The Right Line. I've got Joseph with me behind the camera. We're headed north on the I-17. We're gonna go run the Sheep's Bridge today. We've got our new Midland 575. We're bringing our RC cars and we're hitting the road. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So if you've been following the channel for a little while, then you would know that uh, we have been driving around with this new MXT 575. It's a 50 watt radio from Midland USA. It hasn't even been released to the general public yet, but they sent me this radio to trial it out, take it out, do a little testing with it, make some content, and show it to you guys. It's an awesome radio. All the business end of the radio is in the handheld. Uh, including the speaker. It's basically the big brother of the MXT 275. The big difference is instead of being a 15 watt radio, it's 50 watts and it's awesome. We took it out for its first leg on the, the lower section of the Arizona BDR and I'm gonna put a link to the couple videos that I've made on the 575 right up here. Hey guys, um, we're gonna do a quick plug here for my YouTube channel and my Instagram. Welcome back guys. Here we are, we're on Bloody Basin Road. We're in the Agrafria National Monument. Over my left shoulder, you'll be able to see uh, Crown Kingly. Obviously it's up that way, Cleeter, Bumblebee Ranch, if you're familiar with that area. Bloody Basin Road, we're gonna take that in. We're gonna take that over to the Sheep's Bridge. We're gonna get aired down here. Got the rest of our group, got a nice air down spot. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of a break right here. We're waiting for one of our other uh, group members to catch up. We had a, a meeting time uh, issue, and so they're gonna come, he's gonna come catch up with us. But uh, in any case, uh, if you've been following me for a while, we just started the Arizona BDR. We started the lower third of the Arizona BDR, and I was having some trouble with the rear suspension and uh, some coil spring alignment uh, particularly the right rear coil spring on Chewy. And so I ordered the Metal Cloak coil spring alignment kit, which writes the spring more upright so it's more linear instead of, instead of being double loaded. Uh, so we've got that in and you can see what. And the other thing that we did was swapped out the Bilstein shocks for these new Fox 2.0 remote reservoir shocks. This is the second trip, the Sheep's Bridge trip, second trip on the new shocks. And so far, these shocks are considerably better uh, than what I was having before. My Bilsteins were leaking, the ride quality had turned bad, uh, just was not happy with them. I've used Bilsteins for a while, uh, but wanted to try something different. And so far, I'm super happy with these Fox shocks. It's, there could be snakes in, so yeah, I didn't want to walk all the way up there. So we're sitting here waiting for uh, another club member to join us, and uh, I got about halfway up there. And you can still see a pretty good view. <laughs> Joe decided that he wanted to walk up to the top of that ridge, and you could probably see him right about in there somewhere. And I asked him why he wanted to climb up that way, and he goes, "Just cause."
admittedly, I haven't spent a lot of time in this area off-roading. I've only been through here a couple of times, but there are so many wonderful places to check out here in Arizona that I've yet to explore. Joseph and I have a lot of bucket list places we want to go, but it doesn't even take much. And you can be out in the wilderness enjoying nature, going out for a nice ride in your Jeep, Toyota, whatever it is that you drive. All you have to do is have a little imagination, a little resourcefulness, and time. That's all it takes. I just learned that uh, my son and I uh, have been the only members of our group today that have ever been down to this sheep's bridge. So it'll be kind of cool to, you know, have these folks check it out. I must confess, I've never seen a side rail like that one before. Yeah, I'm not so sure that this side rail is going to stop a whole lot. Yes, I did. I've seen that before. It's a, it's a pretty well performed video, but it just kills me every time I see it. They want to over and over again see if I can see a person in there, but I can't. There's a car in this ravine. Makes me want to think this is why we can't have nice things. Hey, there's part of the hood. Part of the hood over there? Yeah. Well, what's that? Oh, that's just a rack. All right, we've made it. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we're right above the sheep's bridge here. I'm going to show you out the window. magnet on this Jeep and I especially love the message on it So as you can see, this is a hugely popular area for campers and people just coming out to hang out at the water. Um, there is a hot tub-ish over here. I think I can maybe walk over there and show it to you. But uh, big party area, that's for sure. Out here, north of Phoenix, Sheep's Bridge, 
We're headed down here to go get a look at the hot tub. You can see the bridge here. Pretty cool. This is a real popular area. Yeah, you want to keep an eye out for that stuff. I saw it. I heard rumor there was a hot tub in here. <laughs> yeah, not bad. fun ride um, very busy much busier than I thought it was gonna be with lots of people fortunately though all of those people have passed us and they're long gone we should have a nice um, leisurely drive out hey check out that water there so yeah thanks for watching if you like what you saw please consider a like comment share subscription um, and we'll see you again next time Oh, hey, and yeah, I think so. make sure that you go and check yes, out nice. the Miniline Instagram and Miniline YouTube channel. He'd be excited if you went to go check, his, check out his page. Take care, everybody. Have a good, have a great weekend.